So it's like 100, 100 degrees out here, so I just wanted to come out here and make some videos and sort of feel the heat a little bit. I mean, I know it's really hot out, but still, I mean, still something I want to experience. I mean, there's like, you know, a certain part of the year where you're going to experience heat like this, so I figured I would come out and experience that a little bit. Um, so, in this video, I want to discuss Amendum. Um, Amendum is a very popular, popular uh, philosophical YouTube blogger, or, or YouTube blogger, and uh, and he uh, advocates positions of ethelism and antinatalism. <clears throat> and I watched him maybe a few years ago, and then I stopped because I thought it was just like babble and you know just kind of meaningless banter between him and uh, Pontivad and a couple others. So sometimes even with Corey Anton, but. So I stopped watching him a while, a while back, but then like recently I started watching him again. So um, and I'm kind of I'm kind of realizing some um, interesting positions that he's advocating here, uh, or he's trying to he's trying to argue. Um, so I guess I want to think about the idea of desire and existentialism and how those those two concepts those two concepts relate. Um, Anakantavada and Mendem have. Um, gone back and forth, back and forth about desire, basically, and, um, thinking about not pleasure, but about desire, and how desire is, well, according to, in men, at least, he, and this, these aren't really his words, or my paraphrasing of in but basically to him, desire is this thing that, since we are conscious, we have emotions, we have desires for things, we want this, we want that, we want a lot of different things, and when we are denied such things, that causes a negative value state. Um, there's basically positive value state, a positive value state is basically a state of your consciousness where you are, you have received something that you have had a desire for, and you are happy about that as a result. Um, and a negative value state is, is seems to be the more predominant one, where you have a desire for something and you don't get that certain thing, um, and that's basically where suffering comes from. Suffering comes from not only being being de being de denied a certain desires that you have, but it also means um, horrible, unimaginable things happening to you, which is that's where suffering comes from um, and suffering is not something that can be trivial that, that can be trivialized and I guess made into, into something like it's nothing because this is a very very uh, very bad thing actually it's bad because it's a, it's a very negative thing because consciousness the fact that we are aware we are aware of a lot of, of everything in our lives um, that means that everything bad that happens to us, and a lot of bad things happen to a person in one life, um, that just means that um, it's going to be a lot of negative, uh, negative value states. There's going to still, still going to be some positive ones, but mostly, seems like to a lot of people, it's mostly negative. A lot of mostly negative value states. Um, and that is kind of makes me think of existentialism in that existentialists like Sartre, Camus, and even Heidegger kind of talk about this. Uh, coming to Sartre, and well, actually, let's think about um, Camus and, and de Beauvoir, Simone, Simone de Beauvoir. They both, ad they both discuss this concept of, of ambiguity, and ambiguity is de Beauvoir's term, and absurdity is Camus' term, and ha talking about how this life and everything that we live is a very ambiguous and meaningless, absurd thing, and that's very it's very true. The fact of the fact of desire, desire as you know the way that the way that Imendum has discussed it, desire is this leaves this gap, a gap between wanting a certain thing or having a desire for a certain thing, and either not getting that or getting it. So there's this feeling or emotion and want of something and then there's the gap between that and 
what kind of input there is of getting it or not or not getting it. It's just that's kind of what the whole thing is, and the whole idea of desire is a very it's a very negative thing. I think it's really really bad and really negative. There's this idea of desire uh, that kind of comes along with consciousness, and it kind of comes along with just being human. And um, that's a very existentialist concept um, because desire is one of many things in this life, in this world, that is just very messed up, fucked up, and um, wrong, sick and wrong. Um, and I guess the, the antinatalist position is that we should not reproduce, we should not, um, we should not try to continue life here, we should try to, try to diminish life, because diminishing life means the diminishing of imposition, which means that when you live, when you become a conscious person, you are being imposed upon, you are having this horrible life with mostly negative value states imposed upon you. And that's wrong, so that's kind of what the whole position is. And I do agree with, I don't hold the position, however, I agree with every reasoning behind it, with all the reasoning and all the warrant and all the backing behind it. I think it's, um, honestly is, um, would be the most responsible thing, thing to do for everybody who lives or could possibly live. So, uh. Let me know your thoughts on this. Let me know what your thoughts are in Mendham and his whole project. I think he's really has a, a lot of good things going, and I like to watch him and think about all that stuff. So, thank you for watching.